Right. Continuing with our install. Now, when the last one we typed in, let me clear this up. Typed in make bootstrap, and this one here, we're going to continue, and we're going to say make install. This shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, everything went okay for you. If it didn't go okay for you, I suggest you start over um, to get that to go right. Okay? That's done. And we're going to link uh, GCC uh, tools bin CC. Let's do that. That's done. Okay, that's all we need for GCC. We'll back up and we'll say remove um, GCC build and we will remove GCC 403. Okay? So I'm going to go through and remove those files. After this is done, we're going to see how the system is um, holding up. I have two on mine because I have uh, I don't have a lot of RAM. Now, if you have a lot of RAM on your computer, you may not need to do this. Uh, you may want to do it anyway. You know, it, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. But the key of the whole thing is, though, if you're going to uh, if you're going to drop caches out of your kernel while you're running, you want to make sure that nothing's saved as far as, uh, for instance, if I'm in the middle of uh, how we just did with make bootstrap and we came back and we said make install, after I do make bootstrap, I don't want to drop any caches out of the kernel because those are cached in the kernel right now, you know, and the um, the package is not done being configured and uh, bootstrapped and all that, you know, obviously you don't, you don't want to drop anything halfway because it'll lose whatever it saved um, halfway, okay? Okay, so given that, we want to look and we want to see what our usage is like right now. Right now, we're excellent, we're golden. 335, I can live with that, okay? Now let's continue and say tar. Um, Linux libc headers. I'm on page 53 and we'll extract these Linux libc headers. Um, the kernel headers, blah blah blah. You can read about them. You need them. So let's say copy or first. Can you guys didn't tell me I was wrong. <laughs> CD into Linux libc headers. Clean it up a little bit. We'll say copy. Capital R. If you don't know what capital R is, I kind of forget what capital R is, but it combines a few different switches, um, like a I D uh, something else, you know. Um, so capital R is is better than regular R because it's a combination of more than one switch, and those switches are like I and uh, D and something else. I forget what it is. But I just learned that a couple days ago. So copy that um, I386. I'm going to copy to tools, include ASM. Okay, that's done. And also we need to copy over, um, include Linux tools. That's done. Page 54, moving right along. Uh, come back up here and get rid of the Linux libc headers directory that we extracted. We still have the tar file. Don't delete any tar files until you're all done. Um, do not delete the tar files because we're going to keep using them. We're going to extract it and then we're going to go back in and we're going to extract it again and delete that and you know. We're building uh, part one, part two, part three. So, okay. Um, on page 54, um, we're going to use first. Let's tar glibc236. We're extracting glibc. Glibc contains uh, main C libraries. Um, you can read more about that. 
open and closing files, uh, writing files, all that stuff. It's, it's your C libraries. Okay. So we're extracting the tar file now into a folder. Then we'll CD into it and CD out of it <laughs> and build back into it. Okay. There's um to, to configure process for this is about five lines so as you can tell uh, let's see the longer you get or the farther you get ahead in this you'll notice you're not doing mundane things and they get more complex as you go you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm saying so right now it might look a little easy the only thing we're doing is extracting files and you know CD and into stuff and all that stuff but eventually it's gonna get pretty complex so you need to um, <clears throat> you need to definitely check your lines you don't want an unexpected fail where uh, you know and you may fail and that's okay you know that, that's all a part of learning but uh, you may fail and you may have failed consecutively like I have but on this one I don't want to fail and I don't think I'm gonna fail on this one because I just did three back-to-backs and I got it with enough confidence that I can show you how to get it or help you how to get it and show yourself how to get it uh, you know, without GD with headers equals tools include okay and without SC Linux let's see if we got it alright um that's all configurations now if, I don't know um what all these configurations do you can read about them and when you're building your own Linux from scratch, you can, uh, you know, turn off certain configurations and this and that. These are default uh, default configurations for glibc. So you're good enough, and you know, you just want to go at it. You can do all that without, um, you know, without needing the book even if you if you desire to do that. Okay. So I just type in the make command. Um, if you look down on page 55 where we are, after the make command, it says uh, make check. Now, you can read about MakeCheck uh, and test suites and all that stuff like that in the first pass of glibc um, and binutils and gcc. In the first pass, it's not recommended that you um, do any test suites or test what you just made. And that's okay because it's only going to get removed later on. Now, later on, there uh, you will perform test checks and test suites. You'll do all that later on. So it's kind of pointless to do that now because there's really nothing to test it against, you know. Or there's uh, even, for instance, um, Deja GNU is not installed, and neither is TCL. So you cannot really test it. You can check what you just made and see if it's correct or not. But in actuality, you're spending more time for something that does not need to be done. Okay, if it's going to fail you'll know about it at page 100 and it's pointless to test that at page 55 this sounds re completely retarded at page 55 it's it's pointless to check for a fail um, at page 100 you will check for a fail but it'll have the proper software already installed at page 100 to actually perform the proper check for fail hope that makes sense but in layman's terms you're wasting your time if you uh, make a test check now so this is going to go on for a while. Uh, I think I got like an hour build time. So, back to the old PS Ox. And we are going to kill this. And I'll pick you back up in about an hour. If you get done before me, take it easy. <laughs> and I'll see you in an hour.